Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm coming to you with highly requested video that's been in a lot of my comment section asking could I please do a review on my Chanel reissue. Now I like to kind of hold back when it comes to review. Sometimes I get overexcited and after a few months I'm like oh review, review. And to be honest with you, if I really love the bag, I'm, you know, it's going to be a good review as such. Um, but I've had this Chanel reissue for now, it must be, it's close to a year, I think it's about 9 or 10 months. And I felt, you know, a lot of people have been asking the last few, few, you know, months. And I just wanted to wait a little bit longer. And, sorry, I'm pausing because I'm trying to spit out what I'm trying to freaking well say. And it is that I love this bag. And in this video, I'm going to talk about some pros. Is there a con? There might be one con. Um, but if you want to see what I think about the Chanel reissue, please keep watching. Okay, so I got this bag, I think it was July last year, or was it June? Sometime around then. And I had always been a classic flap. I'm just going to put it down for a second to give you a little spiel. I'd always been a classic flap kind of girl. And I started watching a few YouTube videos on it and on this bag and then I started seeing it all, you know, on the streets. You know when you want something you start seeing it everywhere. Not everywhere, but you really pick it up that that's something you want. And something that really drew it to me were two things. One, actually three things. Two, three. There's definitely two. Is this um, really beautiful distressed leather. The reason I like this distressed leather, I'll try and do a bit of a, you know, close up. Now the reason I like this distressed leather is because it's very scratch resistant because it's already distressed and not so scratch but like you can really kind of like scratch across I mean I'm not going to do that because I just can't bring myself to really scratch this bag um, but it's just a great you don't have it's carefree you really don't have to worry about it and what I mean by that is when I have my classic flat bags that are in the lambskin when I am out for dinner or drinks you know I do the back of my mind I do just kind of watch it where I put it don't want to put it on the ground don't want to leave it next to a drink where with this I can really relax now that is such a pro for me because I don't baby my bags I love using them that's what they're you know that's what I've got them for but with this, it is a really special bag. I would go nearly as far to say it's my holy grail bag. Um, it's just, the attention to detail is beautiful. So you have, oh, and the other reason that drew it, like, that I wanted it, oh, I really can't talk today, you need to spit it out, Chloe, is I love the shape. So now, the shape is super different from the shape of a classic flap. It is really thin here. Now, I love this. It's just very squashy um, and I just, the aesthetic of it, I just, I really love it. And the other great thing about this is when you travel, traveling with handbags is freaking difficult. You have to worry about stuffing them, packing them correctly. You don't want them to be under on top of, you know, heeled shoes. Um, you know, there's lots of different um, things you have to think about when packing handbags. And this is great because I usually stuff it with something I'm taking with me, whether it's, you know, some underwear or some socks. And then I don't need to worry too much about it because it is such a squashable bag. It's designed to really lie, you know, flat. And I, oh, I just love it. Um, the other thing I love about this is the chain. So I don't know, I'm going to try and show this to you. But here is the chain. Sorry if it's not um, focusing very well. This chain, as you can just see, is so beautiful. The detail on this chain, it's very different to that of the classic um, flap. And it's got the two holes here, the two holes here, and much like the classic flap. And you can really kind of put the chain how you want it. Now, for me, one of the cons of this bag, and it's a very small con, because I guess I didn't really get it for this particular reason, is that you can't wear it crossbody. I mean, I mean, you can technically wear it crossbody, sorry. Um, you te can technically wear it crossbody, but it's just, I mean, I could get away with it, but it's uncomfortably short. Um, which is fine though because I love wearing it on my shoulder and I think the style of this bag looks so beautiful when worn on your shoulder. So that's not really a huge con and literally I was riding on my laptop trying to come up with pros and cons. My pros list is, just keeps on going. That is literally my only con. Um, I don't have any other con 
And I always try and remember to tell you guys in these videos is you've got to try these bags for yourself. Because I know for some people the reissue is just not for them. They don't like the style, they don't like the leather, they don't like the hardware. You know, there's lots of things they don't like and they prefer the classic flap or they prefer just a different brand of bag. And I always want to highlight in every one of the videos where I either love a bag or have sold a bag or just not too sure that it's such personal taste and personal style. And just because I love this bag and don't have any cons with it, doesn't mean that the girl next door is going to agree with me. She might have lots of cons. She might not like the chain. She might not like the leather. You know, you've just got to do you, basically. Um, so now, how has it weared? That's one of the cons. I mean, no, one of the pros, sorry. It literally has not worn. Um, this looks the same as the day I got it. I mean, I know I've only had it for, you know, nearly one year, but I use it. I don't use it every day. Um, it's just not the style of bag I would use every day, but I use this probably once a week. And it's just, there's something about it when I'm wearing, I feel really special. And I know someone might leave a nasty comment saying, oh gosh, how depressing a bag makes you feel special. And I kind of think screw you because anything is allowed to make you feel special. And for me, when I'm wearing this, I just feel really put together. I feel that people who know Chanel know what brand this is, but because it hasn't got the CC on it, a lot of people who don't know much about Chanel don't actually know it's a Chanel bag. And people who aren't into fashion don't know it's a Chanel bag. And I kind of like that because I know it's a special bag and anyone else who knows Chanel, loves Chanel or fashion knows it's a Chanel bag. But a lot of people don't know it's a Chanel bag and I think that's something special about it and I like that it's a little bit more understated. I love how it wears um, because it can't really wear anymore. Like I mean I think eventually the corners might wear. They haven't worn yet at all but from other reviews, you know, five year reviews and whatnot, it can wear a bit more. But I'm super careful with this bag. This is the um, one of the few, I think it's the only Chanel bag I bought with my own money. Um, it's just something so special about it. And I know this is probably not the most amazing review, the most in-depth review, because I'm saying everything about it is great, but I do really genuinely think that. And the way you open this bag, sorry, I'm trying to cover every base, is with this lock here. You do it like that and lift it up. So when you lift it up, you have just like the classic flap, you have this random pocket behind here, um, which I don't think you're really meant to use and which I don't use. Oh, that's a mark there. You then have this zip pocket, which goes, so I think, oh, hello, there's the authenticity card. <laughs> anyway, so that goes up there and I don't really use that, but sometimes if I was short for space, I might put my cards or coins in there. Then you open it up and like the classic flap that has the um, burgundy maroony hardware, the CC just there. And then you look inside and again, like the classic flap, it has two pockets here and one little pocket in here for perhaps lipstick. So Chanel made in France. I don't know if you can all see that, but I've kept this in really good nick, unlike my maxi bag, which has scratches all over it. This bag I'm a lot more careful with I think something just something about it is just so special to me and I really whew, I just really value it as a bag um so you also have this little lock here so if you want it to be super secure you can kind of click that I don't know if you heard that and then shut it up like so oh why is it not going there we go um and then it also does say Chanel just there on the lock um, I don't know what else I can chat to you guys about. I always watch these review videos and people talk for half an hour and I don't get how you can talk about half an hour for one bag. I mean, super helpful when I'm looking for a bag and deciding whether I want to buy it or not. But when there people talk about 30 minutes for one bag, I'm like short of breath and don't know what else to tell you apart from that this is a fantastic handbag. It's aged impeccably. It doesn't look like it's a day old. Um, the chain's great. It's just so beautiful. The attention to detail is gorgeous. The gold hardware is gorgeous. This pocket in the back is super handy for putting your iPhone in. Um, it's super handy for traveling this bag. I'm just touching base on all the topics I've covered. Um, you know, it lies flat. It's really hard to push it out of shape because it doesn't really have a proper shape. It lies great against your body. It's very flat without being bulky. Um, I think the one size down, now this is the size equivalent of 226. Now, when I compare it to my bags, it's smaller than a jumbo, 
but bigger than a medium large in the classic flap. So it's kind of in, in between, sorry, that size of a medium flap, classic flap, sorry, and a jumbo. So it's kind of right in between, which is a great um, size for me and for what I wanted. I looked at the 225, which is more the size of the medium flap back, classic flap bag. Um, and it was just a little small because I had other bags that size. So for me, that wasn't gonna work. Um, I tell you what, I really love this. If you have any more questions, please leave them down below in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. I hope this has been a little bit helpful. Um, if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. I'm facing the battle.